Good morning, YouTube. I see we have a taker. The first person to protect and shield James Caldwell is no one other than Jay Wilson. Mm -hmm. Jay Wilson was up at 2 o'clock this morning talking about me. Yes, mm -hmm. talking about me, telling me how I'm not funny. But see, what I noticed about Jay Wilson is He's always on everybody's bandwagon to make money on his channel mm -hmm, in the same spot. Or he changes spots in his house. And he's the first one to try to make money off of, off of you, off of anything going on with you. He'll try to act like he's your friend. He'll try to act like he's giving you advice. Mm -hmm. But this time he's uh, protecting James Caldwell. Mm -hmm. Now, these same people support transracialism and transsexualism but because i use a filter see using a filter is not up for political debate mm -mm. cj wilson he stepped out there to protect james caldwell but loses every roasting gag against tim blaine tim blaine lights him on fire every single time see tim blaine his channel is the bomb tim blaine is 60 years old and when I'm watching him, I'm eating popcorn. I go, I go and get snacks to watch him. That's how entertaining Tim Blaine really, really is. Mm -hmm. Not these other two sleep snore studies. <laughs> but that's just the life of Nicole Tyler. Let me say something else that I noticed in uh, Jay Wilson's rant against me with my name in the title. He don't, he don't even know what's going on. See, these people have something personally against me. Homophobic means the fear of homosexuals. That's what that really means. Now, when you're roasting and gagging, you're roasting and gagging. It, it has no labels. So when James Caldwell and Jay Wilson... And all these other YouTubers who make videos off me and make money off of me. They can call me every name under the book. Every name under the book. I do not get mad. I make videos. So I'll come back at them in a video. But you will never hear me say, oh, you attack me, you attack me. No, no, I don't, I don't do that. I just make videos because this is YouTube. But poor James Caldwell. And what they would say is he read her down. Mm-hmm. You're a gator croc. Mm-hmm. Call you all kinds of names. You read her. You were classy. If I read him, they will accuse me of an at attack. And lay and put labels on me. Jay Wilson, why don't you go and read Timothy Blaine and see what happens to you? See, one thing about using a filter, I don't have to change my identity. <laughs> I don't have to go up under the knife. Nope. I'm still me at the end of the day. Thank and bless all those white people out there who created this. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One thing I really like about Miss Nicole Tyler is she does not run from adversity. She stands tall. Mm-hmm. She's staying tall. Yep. She don't back down. She's a fighter. That's what kind of people I like around me. I like fighters around me. But what I have to say when it comes to this debate with the straight women and gay men. See, a lot of women will support the gay community. But they will, will abandon their own community to fight represent, advocate, and windmill for the gay community. Mm -hmm. See, what I saw when I listened to that Tracy Nicole James Caldwell video over and over again, I saw him say, I'm not taking this to my platform. <laughs> he ain't trying to bring and lift you up. It's all about him and his platform and stealing from you. Mm -hmm. All the while telling you, you ain't nothing. 
because it's all about him and his community. Forget you and your community. The thing is that if you don't love yourself and your own community, they will never love you. They got their own community set up. Love your damn selves. Protect yourselves. If nobody is reaching out for your best interests, lose them. Don't support them. What I love about RuPaul's Drag Race, which I've been watching for, what, nine years, ten years now? RuPaul is a class, a real class act. He supports women and men, children, families, black and white. He loves everybody. But if you are a person who is insecure and have a dark heart and is out to hurt people because of your own actions and you're not confident in yourself, then what you have is James Caldwell. You don't deserve to be on RuPaul's Drag Race because RuPaul's Drag Race does not represent hate. And that's what you are, a hateful person. All of you all, stay over there. A windmill for him. Stay over there. Because I support black women in my community. So, for me to not be disappointed, I will go ahead on and take on the fight. All in the corner by myself. Yep, I'll fight for, I'll fight for myself. <laughs> I'll fight for freedom of speech. If that's all I got, then why would I let somebody take it away? For him and in his community. He don't care about me and my community. And then you all sit up there and lend your support to a community that does not care about you. That steals from you. <laughs> Dress like you. Behave like you. Have sex like you. And then look you in the face and laugh at you. Behind your back and call you stupid. Mm, 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 mm. See, when people don't have their own voice and they're scared to speak up, they resort to name calling. Mm -hmm, and profanities. Mm -hmm, that's what they do. So they labeled me homophobic. I could never be homophobic against people that I birthed. Mm -hmm, that was in my womb. Mm -hmm, for nine months. That sucked from my own breast. I, how, can I, how can I fear that? You come out of me. God saw fit to bless me with that blessing. So... Please miss me with that mind ma manipulation trick. You are sad people who don't have a voice who's afraid. And the African American community don't need that. Go ahead on and sit to the back. Go ahead on and support other communities of people who don't love you. You know what, y'all? When I look in the mirror, buck naked, I look at my breast. Mm -hmm. I look at my breasts and I say, Nicole, you such a powerful woman that you can hold two babies to your breast and you can give them nourishment and healing mm -hmm. and love, feeding them with both of your breasts. I am so powerful as an African and black, African black woman that... Back in slavery days, I fed my own children and white children with both of these breasts. <laughs>